We're now joined on the phone by family friend Doug Stutzman. Doug, uh, thank you for taking some time to talk with us. Yeah, of course. No, it's my pleasure. Can you take us through today uh, where Ashley is and how he's doing today? Yeah, today is not much new news. He's still in the uh, the intensive care unit, and it's just kind of a wait and see. They uh, they took him off the neck brace last night, and he's off the breathing tube. So they're just kind of um, you know taking things slow, obviously, and just uh, just a lot of sleeping this afternoon. He hadn't been awake much today. He was awake more yesterday, and they just um, they have him on some pain medica uh, medication right now, and they're just trying to. Trying to stay, you know, as immobile as possible and keep him rested up, and hopefully by this time, you know, on Wednesday he'll be he'll be up moving around a little bit. Can, can you take us back to Saturday and his accident for people that that had not heard over the weekend how the accident occurred right. and the details of that when he was first taken to the hospital? We really don't know how it occurred. Um, you know, obviously he was the only one in there. He was it was a single car accident, and we haven't tried to ask him anything right now. He's he is responsive, but not doing well enough to you know to, yeah. to get that deep and to you know try to take to take his mind back to that situation. And he may not ever remember. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, he could remember it vividly, but we don't, we're not gonna we're not gonna press him about that yet. He had a single car accident. The car flipped, went into uh, a bunch of trees, and he was actually ejected about. You know, he ended up about a hundred feet from his vehicle. And he was not wearing a seatbelt, which typically, you know, you think he's not wearing a seatbelt. That's a negative thing. But in this case, in this rare case, it actually saved his life, the fact that he was not wearing a seatbelt. And if he had stayed in the car, he, you know, he, nothing's for certain he may have lived. But the doctors say almost, you know, 100% he would have died in the car if he had a seatbelt on. Uh, there's been an outpouring of support, of course, since the accident uh, online, fans on Twitter and Facebook and everything else, and a lot of uh, well wishes from his teammates. Has Ashley been able to, to understand what's going on in terms of uh, his teammates? I know Coach Stoops is there, things like that. Yeah, Coach, uh, Coach came this afternoon for a little while. Blake Dupree, the defensive end, uh, one of Ashley's you know, best friends on the team, he came by this afternoon. I actually put uh, Martavius Nellums on the speakerphone yesterday and just kind of put the phone, put my phone up to Ashley's ear and let Tay talk to him. And, and Ashley, he heard everything Tay was saying. He was nodding and, you don't know where you're at. You and he, he cried a little bit talking to Tay. And he understands, you know, what happened. He understands where he's at. And, you know, the family and Ashley, myself, everyone involved, I mean, we can't thank Lexington enough. I mean, obviously everyone around here in the Cleveland area and White County area, they They've known Ashley for years, but for y'all to kind of take him under the wing, under y'all's wing, the way that y'all have, it's it's been incredible. It's really been a lot, and I know even though he can't say it right now, he, I mean, I know he's so grateful and so thankful for for his family up there. What long term uh, prognosis uh, is? He's it? optimistic. It's great. I mean, they feel like he's he's going to make a hundred percent recovery, yeah. and that's what the doctors they they truly believe that he's got uh, scrapes, scratches. You know, a lot of, you know, you look at him and, you know, his brother said it best. It looks like he was just in a really bad bicycle accident. Like he fell off his bike going fast down a hill and just got scrapes and, you know, bumps, bruises all over his body. But in terms of like broken bones and neck injuries, spinal injuries, nothing like that. I mean, he's incredibly lucky. And like I said, you know, not being in that car, not wearing a seatbelt, that, that saved his life. It really did. All right, Doug, thank you very much for, for, for doing this, and please give our best to, to Ashley. We will keep uh, the whole family in our prayers. Yeah, for sure, and thank you all again for everything. It really means a lot, and I know he appreciates everything.